Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do something a little bit different and I'm going to do some hair tutorials with you guys. My last few videos have been mostly makeup related so I wanted to kind of switch things up a little bit and do some hair videos. Let me know if you guys like more hair tutorial type videos and I will definitely do those. Um, so just let me know in the comments down below or if you have any other sort of hair tutorial ideas that you want to see or you want to know more about, uh, just let me know and I can do those for you guys as well. But in case you are wondering, the makeup look I have on my face right now. I did film that. I think I'm going to upload this video first, so this one will be up next week. Um, once it's up, I'll put a little link up here somewhere maybe, if I know how to do that. I've never done that before. Um, it'll be in the description box down below though as well, so um, keep an eye out for that video too. So I want to film some hair tutorials. We are starting to kind of get into bridal season, so you either may be in a wedding, maybe you're getting married, maybe you're attending a wedding and you want to do something nice to your hair but maybe you don't want to just curl it you want to do something a little bit extra but you don't want to go to a hair salon and pay someone to do it for you so I just want to show you guys some really easy updos that you could do um, just to kind of spice it up a little bit but without having to put in a lot of effort or having to go to a salon and spend lots of money these are just some really easy updos that uh, really anyone should be able to do on their own I will put it out there I was a hairstylist for those of you that don't know I did hair for a couple of years before going back to school and uh, deciding to do other things with my life. But I myself am really terrible at doing my own hair. I was great at doing other people's hair, in my humble opinion. Um, but doing my own hair, like I feel like I'm looking at myself in a mirror upside down and backwards. So if I can do these, anyone can do these. Doing the hair kind of gave me the techniques, but then trying to do it on myself is always a disaster. So if I can do it, anyone can do it, I swear to you. So these are going to be super easy and I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and do them. I want to mention I started off by uh, curling my hair. I just uh, used a flat iron to curl my hair. I also have a video of kind of a tutorial of how to do that so if you're a little bit confused on how to curl your hair with a flat iron I will again link that up above if I can figure that out if not there will be a link in the description down below so you can uh, watch that video first and then come back here and uh, do this you don't have to use a flat iron to curl your hair you could use a curling iron if you prefer that and then just put in a nice stronghold hairspray before kind of brushing through the curls with your fingers and that's kind of how I got this starting look here. So I'm going to go into the first hairstyle that we're going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section at the top of my head um, and I'm going to back comb this section. So I'm taking just a section in the crown area and I'm going to lift this straight up. I'm going to grab a teasing comb. So it's just a nylon or a boar bristle comb and you can use it to back comb and create some volume. My cat is in my way. So you're just going to hold the hair straight up and then you're going to take the comb and you're going to brush downwards towards the scalp. And I like to start at the bottom first and then work my way up. taking sections and back combing and placing it down and see how that looks and how it feels and I like to just very lightly with the comb smooth over the top so you don't have any wonky looking pieces. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take what's called a radial section so you want to take a section from the top of your head and you want to part your hair down to just behind your ear and we're going to just be working with this front section here. So you're going to do that on both sides of your head. So the hair in the back I'm just going to kind of twist to keep it out of my way for right now. And then in this front section here, we're going to do the same thing on both sides. Um, but I'm just going to split this section in half, roughly, about. <laughs> and. I'm just going to twist these sections together, so just wrapping one piece over top of the other. That's, that's a cat. I'm going to move you. Can you move? Can you come down here? 
please. And then I'm just going to twist it about halfway to the bottom. It's okay if there's some pieces kind of sticking out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just separate and make these pieces a little messier and looser. So you can do that by kind of sh grabbing the hair and shaking it out. Uh, you can kind of just pull at some pieces. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this around to the back of my head. I'm going to turn around so you can see this part like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just grabbing one of my bobby pins here and I'm just going to pin this into place. I like to kind of stick the bobby pin in and then kind of flip it around and push it downwards. And then we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, just separating that front section in half, twisting the hair, loosening the pieces, and then we're going to bring that piece back and bobby pin that piece. So again, I'm just kind of pushing it up and then pushing it down. And then for some of these shorter end pieces, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of wrap them underneath and kind of tuck them in and then I'm going to pin them into place as well. Alright, so this is what it looks like from the back. And then from the front, you still have your hair down and nice and curled, um, but it just kind of keeps some of the hair out of your face so you're not worrying about it and touching it all day. I think it's just like a really nice, simple, kind of half up, half down updo without just kind of pinning the pieces to the side or to the back. It creates a little bit more a little bit something extra to look at. So this is this look. I'm just going to go ahead and take this out and then we'll start the second look. For the second look, we're basically going to be creating a low bun. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put all of my hair into a ponytail. Um, some of my back combing came out. Um, so I'm just going to go through and actually back comb. No, I'm not. It's a pain in the butt. You can back comb the crown first to create a little bit more height and volume in the crown area. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a low pony. You don't have to make this super sleek and clean. If you don't want to, um, you can leave it a little bit messier. You could also like really kind of slick this back if you wish as well to create a more sleek look. I like it if it's a little bit messier so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it in a ponytail first and then you can kind of pull some pieces and just kind of pull it and loosen it a touch so it's not so perfect. I find by making it a little messier and less perfect it just kind of looks more effortless and then I'm just gonna pull out these kind of front pieces that I've got going on here too. Also if you're not super great at doing updos. If you make it look a little bit messier um, and a little bit more disheveled, it can kind of hide some mistakes as well if you happen to make any, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Updos don't need to be perfect. That's the kind of the beauty of them. So I'm going to loosen off my ponytail just a touch and then I'm going to take it and split it in half so I've got a little bit of a hole in here. I'm going to reach my fingers uh, through, so my thumb and my pointer finger, so I can flip up my ponytail, grab it with those fingers, and pull it down through the bottom here. And then you can just pull to tighten that up. And again, here's where you can kind of pull it apart a little bit, make it a little bit messier and a little bit looser. And then it if you have thinner hair, you can do this all at once, but I've got thick hair, so I'm going to do this in sections. It's going to make my life a little bit easier. 
So I'm just going to grab one section and I'm going to grab a bobby pin and I'm going to pull it up above there, kind of like if I were to be pulling it through again. And I'm just going to start pinning these pieces into place. Because the hair is curled, it kind of creates a bit more of a messier looking bun. You can kind of cross pieces over, pull them up in different directions. It's important to try and uh, to look at it in a mirror as well. It's, you want to make sure it's balanced. When I looked at it in the mirror just now, I could see that this piece down here is kind of hanging down a little bit lower than the other side. So to balance that out, I'm just going to kind of grab a pin here and I'm just going to kind of pin this up a little bit more. All right, so this is what this looks like on the back. And then this is what this looks like from the front. This is really nice just for the summertime especially, just to kind of keep your hair up and off your neck and kind of out of the way. Or if you're doing something where you're at a wedding all day long, um, or at some sort of event all day long, it's kind of nice to have it up as well. Just so it's out of the way, you don't have to deal about it with it, you don't have to worry about it. So this one's really, really nice for that as well. For myself specifically, um, for my wedding, I'm actually considering doing something similar to this, just kind of like a low, messier bun, just to kind of keep everything out of the way so I don't have to worry about it all day long. So um, I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna move on to the next one. Okay, this last look is probably going to be the easiest of them all. The only thing you're going to need is two elastics and that is it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of section my hair as if I'm doing like two pigtails, but I'm going to kind of off-center it a little bit. So I'm going to um, bring it down more on one side of my head. So I have more hair on one side than I have on the other side. And then with the side where you've got more hair going on, I'm actually going to off-balance this even more. So the side where you've got more hair going on, uh, you're just going to want to throw that back in a ponytail, but you want to keep it in the center as if you were doing a normal ponytail. Don't want to do it off to the side like a pigtail would be. So I'm just going to throw that in a elastic and tighten it. Again, you can kind of pull at some pieces to loosen it up a little bit. And then for this giant section of hair, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna grab my elastic so I'm ready to go. For this one, I'm going to be using a clear elastic just so you don't see it. If you use a colored elastic, it's possible you could see it. So I'm just going to grab my elastic so it's ready. And then I'm going to grab this section of hair and I'm just going to wrap it over that ponytail. And underneath so you're hiding that elastic from the other ponytail um, you're not going to bring it all the way and wrap it all the way around this is where i'm just going to put in that clear elastic so it's probably a little small and it's possible it could break so pick one that's going to be a good size and then i'm just going to have a look at it from the front here just to make sure it looks equal in terms of how loose it is because this piece that's coming around is going to be a little bit looser than this side will be. So I'm just going to pull down this side a little bit. Again, I'm going to have a look at it from the back. I'm just pulling down some of these pieces here just to help hide that elastic a little bit more. All right, and this is what this looks like from the back. Hi, Oliver. Sweet boy. Oh, big stretch for a big boy. And then this is it from the front. You can kind of pull the ponytail up to the front if you wish, have it kind of hanging over your shoulder. I like this because it is a very simple and elegant ponytail to do. Like I said, it only used two elastics, so it's the easiest thing to do, but it kind of elevates just your regular ponytail. You can even do this with straighter hair. You don't have to curl your hair before doing this, um, but I find the curl just kind of add a little bit of elegance to it as well. This one's probably one of my favorites. It's super simple to do and it just kind of elevates your hair a little bit as opposed to just throwing it in a 
plain old ponytail. All right guys, so that is everything for this tutorial. That was three very simple updos that you can do for any sort of occasion that you might have to go to. If you end up doing them, make sure you let me know, send me a picture or send me a message and let me know how it went. I'll link my Instagram and Twitter down below so you can send me a message there if you'd like. Also let me know what you guys wanna see in some more videos. If you wanna see some more hair tutorials, uh, that would be awesome. Just let me know what you guys wanna see and I will definitely do that. And then also make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that bell button down below there so you can get a notification when I upload a video and then also you can get a notification when I upload this makeup tutorial which should be going up next. Alright guys that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!